Some of the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all time were the God cards. These three monsters were introduced in Season 2 of the Yu-Gi-Oh anime during the Battle City arc. The most powerful of the three monsters is known as the Winged Dragon of Ra. Used by Merrick, this monster devastated its opponents and was extremely memorable for kids back then. In 2020, Konami announced that this card was getting a Ghost Rare printing. Ghost Rares are extremely hard to pull and have a very unique look to them. I finally managed to pull one myself in my 50k livestream on the last day of 2020. Oh! Oh, we got it! The scratch! Look at the scratch all the way down the side! Oh my goodness! But for this card, the chase doesn't end when you pull the card. The Winged Dragon of Raw Ghoster has potentially the worst print quality in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Nearly every copy of the card ended up having large scratches across the foil right out of the pack. We can really see just how bad the card quality was across the board by taking a look at PSA's pop report. And it shows that since Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw was released, there have been 431 Winged Dragon of Raw Ghost Rares graded. Can you guess how how many of them graded gem mint tens? Before we do that, let's take a look at another card's pop report. The original Game Boy Advance Secret Rare Winged Dragon of Raw has had 748 cards graded, with 410 total gem mint tens. Almost 55% of the total cards graded received a 10. Now back to the Ghost Rare. How many total tens have been graded? Just four. That is less than 1% of the total cards graded. This is one of the hardest cards to grade in history, and it's only a few years old. In today's video, we will be searching for the perfect Winged Dragon of Raw to grade a PSA 10. All right, guys, we have 18 blister packs, Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. There's two packs in each. That basically makes a complete box because there's 36 of these Legendary Duelist packs. Hopefully, we can pull that Winged Dragon of Raw, and hopefully, we can get super lucky and pull a nice Ghost Rare. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two boxes. We have Legendary Duelist Season 2, and then we also have Dragons of Legend, the complete series. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your experience with Rage of Raw. Did you open any back in 2020? Did you pull the Ghost Rare? And uh, were you one of the to get a ghost rare psa 10. all right here we go we're gonna have 36 chances to pull the rage of raw wing dragon of raw i have not opened this set in a very long time because as i showed you guys in the intro i pulled a ghost rare back in 2020 so i'd already pulled it actually a lot of people missed that pull because it was in a, at the very end of like a really long live stream. So a lot of people didn't even know I ever pulled it, which is pretty funny. So I guess we can like pull it for you guys who never saw it. Let's see if we can do it. We've got a Mech Lord Emperor Wazelle. So we are starting off with just a super, but that is not guaranteed. So actually not that bad. Pulling supers and this kind of stuff is uh, actually a good thing because some of them are actually pretty decent. Got a Mech Lord and then a Reactor Slime. This set is one of those sets that Legendary Duelists usually don't start off too hot. And this one certainly didn't, but they do age pretty well. It seems like this set has aged really well as it's gone along. Some of the cards are actually worth a little bit now, which is nice because right after they were released, like everything normally is, you know, everything floods the market. People are buying and selling it a bunch. A lot of the prices go way down. But since then, it seems like it's done pretty well. It's a pretty old set. 2020 it came out, which is, I know, three years ago, guys. Can you believe that? Three years ago. It wasn't a complete three years because obviously we're at the beginning of 2023. But the fact that we're, we're even close to three years away from Rage of Raw is insane to me. And what else is crazy is that there has literally been four of these graded in the age of like 2020 is the age of current grading so this is when everyone started grading everyone wanted to grade all their cards so any sort of new set with any sort of collectible card well there's an ultra rare very nice mech lord astro dragon triskelion everyone was grading it so it was like oh wing dragon rock ghost rare i'm definitely grading mine you know everyone wanted to grade everyone was asking how how to grade how could they send it in that's when everybody was going crazy with all the hype and everything so if there was anything to be graded it was getting graded and the fact that that many got graded and only four got tens is absolutely amazing that just shows you how poor the actual print quality was so if we can actually get lucky and pull a first edition ghost rare they actually oh, same ultra rare. We got two of these already. That's pretty strange. Uh, they actually did do an unlimited print of the set, which is pretty unusual for Yu-Gi-Oh these days. Most sets don't get an unlimited print un unless they're like really good, like Power of the, uh, the Elements. I always want to say Power of the Duelist, but Power of the Elements got one. That was a great set. This, on the other hand, not very meta relevant, so usually don't get an unlimited print for that. So this was pretty unique. I think it was, you know, the hype of the Winged Dragon of Raw and stuff actually must have sold a ton of packs, so they ended up making an unlimited. I don't think a lot of people really cared about the unlimited, though, because I checked the pop report. Only seven unlimited Ghost have ever been graded zero ten. so funny how that worked like 
400 and whatever first eds. Nobody bothered to send the uh, the unlimiteds, which is pretty wild. Mind control in there and then a reactor slime. We've only gotten what? Well, three foils isn't too bad. Two ultras, same one. We really want the like the guardian slime. Well, not the guardian slime. What's it called? The slime obelisk, basically. Uh, I don't remember what his name is. He's pretty good. Mind control, cyber energy shock. Did he ever get a reprint? I'm trying to remember. Did he get a reprint in maybe the structure deck of the god cards? Honestly, that should have been the giveaway today. Would have been a structure deck of the god cards. That would have made sense. But, you know, didn't think that far ahead, I guess. So far, we uh, our total value is probably not too good right now. I mean, we're not pulling a whole lot. But all we need is one ghost rare to really change it around. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's probably around like 225 for the ghost raw. Maybe 200. Guardian slime. There's the one that I accidentally said. I didn't actually mean this one. That's still a decent card. And then the Makura, the Destructor, um, you know, what's the word for that? Errata. I always want to say retrain. It's not a retrain. It's an errata. It's the same card, but worse. <laughs> so it's just the worst thing that can happen. You know, let's just make, let's just nerf this guy. We got a, a Psychic Shockwave, Mechlord Army of Wazel, Mechlord Army of Grinnell, and a Mechlord Astro, the Eradicator. Yeah, Ghost Rare, I think, yeah, I think it's around 200. Could be a little bit less. And that, of course, is for like a regular old near mint. But if you could get like a mint, probably no chance. But if you could get a mint, I'm not no chance. Four, four out of 431 chance. We got a Jurigetto. I'm sure there are more that have been pulled that have not been actually revealed or whatever, like, or not graded, I should say. Some people pulled it. Maybe they got the mint one and they didn't, they don't like to grade, so they didn't actually grade it. You know, that probably has happened at some point. We got Jinzo Lord. But still, the mass majority, I mean, I pulled mine and it was in horrible condition. Like, scratch all the way down the, the surface of it, it was real bad. I mean, you couldn't even call it near mint. It, it had to be light play, and that was like, even then it's like, wow, that is a big scratch for light play, you know? I don't remember if I swapped mine with a different one or if I kept mine. I'm pretty sure I kept my original one because I wanted to have the one that I specifically pulled. Jinzo Jector, can we get a ghost? No. Holding legs. Merrick, give us the ghost rat, Merrick. He always had that weird gravelly voice. When he would go into Yami Merrick, he's like, Mech Mechlord Astro, Dragon Asterisk, Dragono, Psychic Shockwave, Psychic Bounder. It was like that. That hurts my voice. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that's not a good way to talk. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll hurt your voice. That is, that is not good for the long-term vocal cords there. I don't think I'm going to continue to do that. Even though, honestly, I was pretty impressed. It kind of kind of had a Merrick sound to it. Not exactly like him. I got to work on it a little bit, but I really don't want to because then I'm going to not be able to talk in five years. Okay, we got the Boon of the Mechlord Emperor and a Mechlord Emperor Riz Wizel, not Rizel. Okay, got a lot of foils, actually. Not too bad. Can we get the, uh, what is that guy called? The, the guy who looks like Obelisk, but he's a slime. We got Metal Reflect Slime, good card, a Mechlord Fortress, and an Everlasting Alloy. Probably about halfway through. This is actually a pretty fast opening. I always forget when you open these five card packs that they really fly by. Like, it's insane how fast they open. So let's see if we can potentially get something now because they, they're actually running out pretty fast. Can we get it? A nice minty gauche rare. Imagine getting like a perfectly minty one. It's like off-centered or something. That would be awful. Holding legs. We got a reboot, mind control, and a wild monster appears. Not the droid we're looking for. Gonna have to keep looking in this next pack. Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. It feels like every card's a Mechlord card. Like, I know that's a Genzo card in Machiora, but like, there's supposed to be three archetypes in here, right? And almost every card's Mechlord, it feels like. Pretty weird. Here we go. I believe Wing Dragon Ara, Rage Ara. I, it's been so long. I have not opened a lot of this set. Like, in, I mean, really in general, because we only opened one case and we got it. Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. Literally three this guy. Three of that Ultra Rare. That is unfortunate, because I think that's a pretty bad one. Mechlord. See, it's we're just giving us the Mechlord stuff. It really wants us to pull Mechlords. Genzo Lord, come on. We got Mechlord Emperor. That's back to back of the same card. No, Army and then Emperor. Okay, they look the same. And then a Cyber Energy Shockwave. So more Genzo cards. Can we get a Genzo? Have we pulled a Genzo yet? I think we probably have, but I don't remember. Okay, I said we were halfway earlier. I mean, I'm not sure if we were. We have eight left. So now we have 16 more packs. So we opened 20 total packs. I guess it's not as fast as I thought because seeing eight blisters, you're like, oh, we're almost done. But there's really 16 packs in there. So we're not too fast. Uh, Astro Dragon, but Jura Ghetto, Psychic Shockwave, Metal Reflect Slime, Mechlord. Lord at it again, the Astral. All right, here we go. I guess, is Slime an archetype, technically? Jinzo Return, there is a regular, you know, kind of a Jinzo card. A Token Stampede and a Reactor Slime. Has to be, because there's so many Slime cards. I guess it's technically the third archetype. Mechlord, Jinzo, and Slime. Interesting three archetypes here. Yeah, this guy's the guy we're looking for. Whatever that guy's called. I can't remember what he's called for some reason. Why can't I remember? We have Token Stampede. We have, uh, I mean, it has been like almost three years. Give, cut me some slack. Mechlord Assembly, that's a super. 
Mechlord Deflection, also a not super, also a card of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a card of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a Ghost Rare. We gotta believe Fortress. We got uh, Mechanical. We got Psychic Bounder. I did always like that card. I thought he was really cool. And then another Machior. That's insane. That card, uh, unfortunately, is no good with the Errata. So, I mean, it wasn't even really good before. It just had like a really uh, broken effect in certain situations, but like in general, not that great. Two packs in this blister. Will we get the less than 1% chance? I mean, 1% chance after you pull it. So really like realistically, you got to do it's one in 288. So whatever chance that is like super tiny, less than 1%. Then you have another 1%. So we got to get some math whizzes on that. We're talking real small, true name, ultra rare, not a good one, but it is an ultra. We have pulled a lot of ultras, like four or five already. That's five actually, because we've got three of that same one. We got true name and we got the, uh, the slime guy. So five ultras. Oh, I remember you actually do pull a lot of ultras out of these, right? This is like five, maybe six a box. So we're at like a full box ratio already. Still have a bunch of packs left. I really want to know what is the exact number? I need to figure that out. What percent chance you have to actually pull this thing and then grade it. So 1% is like, I mean, that's way higher than what it actually is. It's 1% just to grade it once you have one. We got a token Sunday. We got Jector. We got Monster Reborn. How have we not seen that yet? And then the Cyber Energy Shock. I don't remember it at least. Monster Reborn is a short print common. No, I'm just kidding. Watch, watch. That's a Monster Reborn from the uh, Yugi's Legendary decks, just like that time on the live stream. You guys know what I'm talking about. About eight packs to go. Will we get a Ghost Rare, Wing Dragon of Raw, or will we fail miserably? We have Genzo Lord, Jurigeto, Amplifier, Psyche Bounder, another Super. So we're getting tons and tons of foils, which is cool because they are not guaranteed at all in this. Like you can literally open a pack and get not get a foil. It's like the old days. Raw's Disciple, Mech Lord, Emperor Rizel and a reboot cyber energy shock three blisters to go that means six packs six more chances at the wing dragon of raw we haven't even pulled the ultra wing dragon of raw i mean that would be cool too an ultra wing dragon of raw would be pretty nice i'd be happy for that as well there's also the ancient chant card which is pretty strong if we could pull that genzo there he is mech lord arm emperor whatever he's called and then a nucleus infinity core Cyber Energy Shock. So another super rare, one of many that we have pulled. Mech Lord Emperor, Boon of the Mech Lord Emperor, Mech Lord Astro, Psychic Bounder for like the fourth time. That is insane. We're pulling all the same cards. It's a bunch of dupes. Here it is. The time is now. Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. You gotta believe, guys. You gotta make it happen. This is the way to do it. Just like Mandalorian. We have Mech Lord. We have Mechanica. We got Jinzo Lord. We got Mech Lord Emperor Wazel. Super rare. Another super rare one of probably 10 at this point i mean we have pulled a ton of foils which is great but none of them have been the ghost rare we have mechlord astro emperor the brain control and holding legs okay everlasting alloy it comes down to this the final blister pack we've opened up 34 packs of legendary duelist rage of raw today this is number 35 and 36 will these two contain the ghost rare that we're searching for not just any ghost rare a minty ghost rare that could be graded the fifth 10 ever at PSA. We'll have to find out. First of the last two, we got Returner, Left Arm Operating. We got the Holding Arms, Mechlord Emperor, Emperor Skill. I'm I'm really struggling right now, and that's because I can sense it. The Winged Dragon of Raw is inside this pack. Its aura, its greatness is scaring me. It's making me nervous. Army of the Wazelle, Brain Control. The next card is what we'll find out if we completed our objective, pulling the Gosher. For we're gonna do this. We got a Makiura, of course. And the final card. Monster Reborn. It taunts us yet again. So no, we were unable to pull the less than 1% chance, probably like 0.001% chance. Wing Dragon of Raw Ghost Rare. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Anantai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace